Okay, so now that we've got some preliminary things set up for our um, network, let's build a DNS server. Now, there are actually two types of DNS servers that we can build or DNS services we can run in Azure. Now, I'm on my all services. I'm going to come down to networking, and we're going to find them here. So we have DNS zones, and then we have – boy, that keeps popping up whenever I hover over anything – private DNS zones. Now, we're going to do private DS on, DNS zones a little bit later, but just to illustrate the difference, this is used for public-facing requests. So anything I put in here is going to be public-facing. Everybody in the world can see it. So I'm going to use this DNS zone – if I want to do provide name resolution for things in my network or services that I offer to the rest of the world. If I'm wanting to run internal DNS just for my uh, virtual network, then I'm going to do a private DNS zone. Now, we're going to do this a little bit later on. So DNS zones, remember we pop up over them. It tells us a little bit about them. I'm going to go to my DNS zones, and I'm going to create a new DNS zone. So I'm going to create one for my um, demo zone. So I'm going to do a create, and this is going to be for my demonstrations. So if this is a child of an existing DNS zone, I can select this here. But it's not, so I'm going to do my name here, and this is going to be demonstrations external. Dot com. Now, I will tell you this does not register the domain name for you, okay? What's going to have to happen is you're going to have to register the domain name through somebody else and then have that domain name transferred to Azure. So uh, let's go to our next. And if I already have a DNS zone file from another DNS server, I can copy the file up here, or I can copy it here. So drag and drop the file, or copy your DNS zone here. I don't have either of those two things, so I'm going to skip this. But if you are transitioning a DNS zone, this actually becomes very useful. So the tags, and then review and create. And I'm going to create my DNS zone. Now, when it creates my DNS zone, there are going to be two records in it. Anything else I have to add. So I'm going to click on Go to Resource, and here's my demonstrations uh, DNS zone. Deployment succeeded. Yay. Demonstrations, uh, the DNS zone. And here I can add another child zone, and here I can view my record sets. Then I've got import, export, other things you'd look at. Um, properties, locks here under settings, DNS management lets us monitor our record sets. Same thing we've got here. So I'm going to click on my record sets, and you're going to see two records. So SOA, start of authority, and NS are your name server records. And notice these are managed by Azure. So back to what we were talking about earlier, you purchase your domain name, you transfer it to Azure, and then it shows up here as one of your name servers. Now, I'm going to add a record set, but before I do, I need to add a record set to an IP address. So I'm going to come back to all services, and I'm going to go to my public IP addresses. I'm going to find my public address for my demo server. If you watched the previous video, I'm creating this. I created it as external server. I renamed it to demo server. So I'm going to copy my IP address to my clipboard, and then I'm going to go back to my DNS zones. So my demonstrations external, go to my record sets. I'm going to add a new record. So I'm going to call this www, and you'll notice the .demonstrationsexternal.com is already here. This is where I can set the type. So it supports pretty much all of your standard types. A records are for IPv4. Quad A records are for IPv6. Uh, certificates authorities. Uh, C name, so link to your uh, another name. is canticle name or alias. MX, mail exchangers, name server records, service records, text records, pointer records. Uh, I just want a standard A record because I'm resolving www.demonstrationsexternal.com to an IP address. So allow a record set. Remember, we can hover over this. Um, these are the only ones that uh, support uh, record sets. Um, 
All right, so TTL, Time to Live, how long will this uh, last before somebody has to refresh it? And then TTL in news. So basically, if somebody grabs this record, it'll stay cached for one hour. And then you can adjust that to however long you want. And then, most importantly, IP address. So I click here, and then I can hit Control-V, or it just put it down there for me. And notice I can do multiple IP addresses. That's because it becomes a record set. So one name resolving to multiple IP addresses, and it'll kind of round robin load balance through them. So I don't need that, so I'm just going to hit Add. And now I have my A record. So if somebody were to use this DNS server, which, by the way, nobody is going to find because that domain name isn't registered, it's just a demo, and they went to www demonstrationsexternal.com and we had that forwarded to or managed by Azure, they would pull this IP address. And then of course I can add whatever records that I need to and as many records as I need to. So remember, this is the DNS zone. This is for outside zone name resolution, not internal name resolution. That is going to be handled through a private DNS zone.